All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of 3D12, the garage render or the detached garage. Um, as you can see on your screen, this is pretty much what we're making. And we're at the point now where we've already created the model. So now we're just going to do the environment and then we're going to do the uh, lighting and texture and materials and then uh, render it. All right, I'm going to try to fit all this into this second part, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so the first thing is, is that I'm going to want to, I'm going to end up putting uh, tinted glass on all of these windows all the way around. That way you can't actually see into the inside. But if you do want to leave those open and do like a clear glass, then you're going to want to put some kind of flooring underneath this. So if you need to, uh, you can take the box tool and you can draw this across the bottom and then give yourself, you know, actually I'd probably go up from there. You give yourself a little bit of floor like that and then you would fill that with some kind of material. Okay, so mine's going to be tint though and I'm not going to have that. All right. So next thing, let's, let's do a driveway, okay? Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a polyline tool, you're gonna start at this corner and you're gonna trace all the way around. So if you need to, you do a little orbit this way. Sorry, every time I get a frame rate drop, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing and just wait until it comes back. Seems like every time I orbit a model in conceptual that that happens. Um, but anyways, you're going to come out this way. Let's just say that our driveway is 25 feet long. And then it's going to go across. Even with this. Stay on that green line. Let's see if we can get that intersection right there. And then close. All right, so we got our driveway set up here. This is going to get extruded down. Let's just go like negative six or something like that. And then we're going to have a walkway that goes around the outside. So again, we're going to grab a polyline tool. Um, I'm going to slide this way because I like when it goes a little bit further than what the door is. I'm going to go four feet out. I'm going to come this way. This part doesn't really matter where you connect that. Um, better to go too far. We're going to union this anyways. And I'm going to go here and drag over until I get that intersection. Click there. Click there. 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 And close. All right. All right. Let's get conceptual off because I'm getting a lot of frame rate drop. So take this and extrude that down negative six and then union these two together. Unless you want to have different materials on that part. That's up to you. Okay. So now we have our walkway and then we're going to do our grass. So with the grass, this is better to go way too big than it is to go too small because when we go to render this, we want to see grass all the way around the outside. We don't want to see where the grass ends. Otherwise, the Hollywood effect kind of disappears. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> all right. So I'm not going to want to start this even here. I'm going to want to go down about an inch. <clears throat> so if you need to draw an inch down, <clears throat> let's try that again. Excuse my voice. All right, one inch. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's make sure that F10 is on. And I'm not really sure why. You know what? Let's go off the midpoint. It makes it a lot easier. We'll go back to polyline. We'll go off the midpoint. If we need to, we will extrude it up. So, come on, F10. F11 was on. Let's reset our view. Let's see what's happening here. I didn't see the grid, so. And let's just make sure that I didn't hit the wrong key and that we're still recording. So far, so good. That may have that may have paused the video for a second, so I apologize for that. Um, there are some keys that I hit in AutoCAD that actually stopped the camera. Where does that grid keep going? Huh. All right, let's do a box tool. We'll move it down later. Oh, uh, you know what? Okay. Type UCS world. Let's try that. Midpoint. There we go. I don't know why that was happening. All right. So we'll go way out here. We'll go way back there. Way out there. See if we can come off of this corner. Oh, where'd my green line go? 
I like to keep things symmetrical. You really don't have to do it like this, but right about there. And then I'm actually going to... Uh, let's see. I don't want to... Technically, you should be tracing around the outside of the house. So let's do that. All right, I went back to the midpoint. I'm going to go all the way back down this way. Now, you know what? Forget that. If we extrude down, then you're not going to see it anyways because the driveway is going to be pulled above the grass. Okay, so let's undo that last thing that we did. Of course, we went too far. Oh, boy. Sorry, guys. I'm messing up here. I need that intersection right there. And then we're going to go all the way and close here. All right, so now we got this. We got a polyline with a huge plot of grass, okay? Extrude that down. Rather than typing a number, I'm just going to go in here and say go down to the bottom of the driveway. And that's pretty much it for the environment that we do here. That was only six minutes, so now we're going to start adding materials and texture. Although we should actually put a street here too. I, I really don't want to do the curb and stuff because we did that in the last one. Um, but let's just do a quick box here. Starting at the top of the grass and doing length and going all the way down to the top of this grass over here coming out doesn't matter how far and then maybe we'll go to the midpoint of the grass okay so now on conceptual you'll see that we have a bunch of different plots it's going to be driveway it's going to be grass it's going to be street okay so go to realistic all right start adding materials visualize we're going to go to material browser Drop down the triangle, drop down the triangle. Let's do uh, site work first and let's find some grass. Let's do blue grass, okay? And then site work, there should be an asphalt up at the top. Let's do, uh, let's do asphalt two. And then now as far as the driveway goes, I always like this cobblestone one, so I'm gonna grab that one. Um, okay, so here's a good example. If this is turned on you, you can right click. See how it's on like an angle going this way? If you don't like that, right click and go to properties. And um, you should be able to, let's see. Nope, that's not where you got to go. Click on this. Actually, go in here on this one. Click on this pencil here. And you should see when you click on that, you should get position offset rotation. See how it's on zero. Let's see what happens when we make it. Looks like it's got to be. Let's see what 135 does. All right. So we're playing with numbers here, which is kind of silly. It should have been straight already, but sometimes this does happen. 125 is pretty close. I'm going to leave it like that. You guys can mess with that. Okay. So we got a little bit more straight now. Um, all right. Now, as far as the house or the garage itself goes, I'm going to start putting some siding and stuff on there. So when you see this is not under site work, it should be under siding. And just pick one that you like. You know, there's not a lot of options in here. So if you want, again, click the pencil. And you'll see that you have, like, all these different options that you can do. You can change the color tint. Um, like, let's say we want some kind of blue house or something. And let's see if we can drag that onto here. Yeah, we should have gotten, should have gotten a blue tint there. Um, let's go to self-illumination filter color. Whoops. Yeah, I don't see that one either. All right, let's try something else. Sorry, it's been a little while since I've done this one. How about... Oh, we got frame drop. Hang on. How about double-clicking on that? And obviously we can change the brightness and stuff, but that doesn't really help us. Man, I did it in the other one. That's strange. Um, <clears throat> how 
How about if we just did, how about if we forget siding and we just do some kind of paint? So if we go to like paint here and we see a color that we like, there's not many options in there though. How about a wall paint? Like a cyan or something. I don't love that. I don't like doing it that way because I like seeing the siding lines. But for right now, I you know, try what I was doing and see if that works for you. But it's not working for me. Um, all right, let's go back to wall paint again. There should be a white in here or a light gray. How about a cool white for the doors? Cool white. How about cool white for the... We're going to have to zoom into this one. Cool white for the part around the windows. Right where your pointer is is exactly where it's going to put it. And then let's do a metal of some sort for the doorknob. Bronze, sure. Let's do a nice bright color like chestnut for the door. Okay, it's just totally up to you. You guys can do whatever you want here. Um, let's do tint. Cool tint, glazed tint. I like the dark tint. Frosted light blue. That sounds kind of cool. Okay. Frosted light blue. Frosted light blue. Come on. Now we could have unioned all these windows together. And even though, whoops. Even though they don't touch each other, you would have put it on one, and then it would have put it on all of them. And that would have probably been a lot easier. But we'll do it one at a time. And then there's one more thing here. You know, hopefully you didn't stop the video yet, because there's one more thing that I want to talk about. Um, it's called exploding a 3D model, which you never really want to do. In this case, so let's go back to, let's go back to roofing. If you find shingles that you like, Okay, notice how the shingles will wrap around the side as well, which you don't want. So what you're going to do is you're going to explode this, but just realize that it's no longer a 3D model and you won't be able to change the size of it or do anything special with it. But you can explode it because then we could go back into wall paint again and we'll be able to put a different material on all the different surfaces that it, that it became. So think about a cube. A cube is a solid. And if we put one material on there, then it's going to have just that one material. But if you explode it, it now has six different sides, so you can do six different materials. Okay, so back to where our cool white was. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that underneath here. I'm going to put that in the front, and then that should be enough for this render. I also want to change the roofing. I don't really love how that looks. Uh, what does that look like? Nope. How about that one? Decent. Spanish tile. I think I went with that one the last time. All right. Okay, so. Oh, render drop again. Or uh, frame drop. What you're going to do is you're going to set this up, almost cutting this off, just like that. And you're going to go full shadows. You're going to turn off default lighting. You're going to turn on the sun. Adjust exposure. We'll do that in a second. Um. The date and time, I like to do it in the summer. I like to do it like earlier in the morning. You'll see that the shadow will go behind. And then as far as exposure goes, I like to make that between like five and six, somewhere like that. And then let's just do a quick medium render here. Um, again, I'm gonna lose frame again, frame, frame rate because it's gonna be using some of the horsepower of the computer, which is again, so strange. I have an Alienware here and this thing should be whizzing right now. But let's see what it looks like. All right, so we're a little bit off center. So I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to bring this over into the middle and I'm going to try that again. That's pretty close. And I think I like it like that. All right. So close this. I ask my students to do um, a coffee break render, which is just a 10 minute render. And you also want to change this to be 1920 by 1080. And then you're going to hit render and that's going to go over it a bunch of times. And now I'm noticing that it is cutting off part of the roof. So because we changed the resolution. So if I cancel this real quick, I'm losing frames again. If I cancel that, uh-oh. Well, if I cancel that and I move that down just a little bit, it won't be cutting off the way that I want it to, okay? Or the way that I don't want it to. 
Yeah, I'm not able to cancel this. All right. So, um, anyways, that's pretty much it. All right, you guys put materials, texture, lighting on there, and you just, you know, you make it look the way you want it to, and then you render it up. And then the last thing you would do is when this does finish through, you would hit save. You'd save it, uh, make sure you save it as a JPEG and save it in your documents. And then you're going to print that out and you're going to have two copies. You're going to have the hidden copy with just your name on it and black and white hidden. And then you're going to put the colorful render that comes out of the color printer uh, behind it and staple them together. All right. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This was 3D12 part two. And there will not be a part three because we got through all of it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.